Hello everybody and welcome back to Skyblock. This is episode 7 of this Let's Play series and here we are exactly where we left off and I do have some good news. I think I might have solved my crashing issues. I've turned up the graphic settings a bit and we're going to go ahead and see if I can get through this episode and possibly I might just go on a marathon recording session to see if I crash at all. If we're lucky, I won't. Die. Dead. Okay. So that'll be a big boon to my recording. If I don't have to worry about crashes in Minecraft, I could do things like servers and stuff. Which I've always previously had to avoid. Oh, look at all these mobs. Hello, bat. Good bat. But actually, one other thing I want to show real quick is this. This is a list of the things we have to do. The things I've already done, oh, except for this apparently, are bolded and italicized. So we really haven't made all that much progress, but a lot of that's just because I've been setting up to do everything. Like, we needed a place to spawn mobs to get things to make, uh, I don't know, jack-o'-lanterns? No? <laughs> I don't know. We needed things. So we got mobs incoming. That is no surprise. I should make a sword. Oh no, oh no. I didn't see the baby. Ooh, okay. That wasn't so bad. I mean, it could have been better. That is definitely spawning a lot of mobs out there. Oh well. Let's go ahead and grab a bit of this and we'll make a sword and uh, a new pick and probably a new everything, basically. I hope they can't... They shouldn't be able to see me thanks to this wall. How? I guess I need to raise this wall by another one. That should hopefully keep it from flinging outwards. One can only hope. But yeah, as it turns out, the problem might have been caused... Well, okay... I was using an efficient uh, game capture mode in my recording software, but it turns out that that might be what causes certain games to crash with my drivers and stuff. So I'm trying the window recording, which is maybe a bit less efficient and also lets you see things like this that I put in front of it, so I can't do things really like I can't chat to people or check things online very well. So it's kind of limiting, but at the same time... You know, it's great. Let's try. Come on, come on, I hear him. Oh, hello. I've got a sword now. Where are you guys? Hello. Take this. Oh, he, he didn't fly back the first. Ow. Yeah, you guys think you can get me, but you can't. Dang, still nothing good. I think I need to do this. So we're going to be sitting still for 30 seconds. Oh, those skeletons are going to fall off the edge like idiots, I'm pretty sure. They always drop their stuff off the edge. Oh, he just despawned. Oh, I guess I must be more than 32 blocks away from them. Interesting. I didn't think I was. Oh, I need to eat more. Because I need my health to get to full. That's all I'll eat. We'll just sit here and wait. So yeah, it's a bit inconvenient what I'm doing, but if it stops the crashes, it's worth the inconvenience because those crashes, especially this week, were getting way on my nerves. What's he doing? Okay, he's just running around, I guess. I didn't get my health all the way up, but I got it pretty good. Oh, he's seen me now, I think. Or he just knows the dark area. What? Hey, Bone! We got a bone. Okay, next up. Oh, the creeper is gone, but there's still a spider. Spider, don't you move. Oh, hey, there's a bat. Aw. How nice. And there's skeletons. My mob spawning room is working. Come on, spider. Oh, that guy's got an enchanted bow. Okay. I think I only attracted the attention of one of the creepers. I can't tell, though. Yeah, okay. Back up. 
You gotta get out of the explosion radius for them to stop their timer. And then we should... yeah. You can get two hits in before they explode, usually. Four hits to kill them. Where'd the other ones go? Uh-oh. Uh... oh no. Oh no, oh no! Uh-oh. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. I'm gonna back up to right here so that his drop won't fall off the edge. And he didn't give me one. Now I got two skeletons over there. This is an issue. Now they shouldn't despawn as far as I know. Shouldn't. It's not guaranteed, but I think I'm close enough. Uh-oh, maybe not. I'd better inch closer. We might die, but I I want the chance of getting the bow, basically, is what it boils down to. Come on, any minute now, we're off. There we go. Okay, let's rush. Take that one out, and ow, ow. Ow. Oh. Hello, bat. Well, we got a little cobble, so... Might as well. I need three, though. So that's that. We'll finish that later. Oh, a tree grew. Good stuff. I need to make a new pickaxe, and then get enough to make a new axe. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. And here we go. I should also probably, uh, not there, but here. There. I need some coal because we need to light up the roof of that once it's finished. Otherwise, there will be a situation. A dangerous situation. There we go. So from now on, we're going to be focusing on checking things off the list. Making a house is one thing, making farms is another. I've been working towards farms. If it wasn't for all the issues I had recently, I would have already had one. I think this is enough cobble for now. Problem with putting torches on the roof is, and if it's not finished, then the light's going to go in and ruin the whole story for us. And we should get rid of the leaves fast so that they can drop before another tree grows. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, let's put the bones away. Wow, we got so many bones. We'll be able to farm a lot when that time comes. Now, what was I... Oh, right. Making a new one of these, which we can just store there for now. Hello, sapling. Get in there. How about you... Oh, torches. We got two charcoals. I realized I've never made a block of coal. I was I thought always thought it was cool they added that and then I've never actually made one. It's kind of strange. Anyway, torches which we can go ahead and put out here. Let's see. Let's get that in my inventory and run on out here. I don't know why I keep running, but it's stupid because I don't have food. I'm gonna starve. Okay though. So now only spiders can actually escape from this, which is good. I guess we can also go ahead and do that. Just, oh, I didn't even see that. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and we'll make a, oops, already had one. Let's go ahead and pillar up here. This might prevent mobs from spawning, but I think it's a good idea. I'm putting it inwards a bit in the hopes that maybe it won't prevent them from spawning on the inside. And now let's go ahead and try to get my wood back without it flying off into the middle of nowhere. Good stuff. And let's head back. I just realized that I could just block this off with wood. There's absolutely no reason this has to be made of cobble. Except creeper proofing, because there is a chance I might accidentally blow up a creeper. So I think I will. I mean, it's not like it takes that long to mine. I just haven't been doing it. I was actually going to 
mine some cobble before I started recording, but I was so distracted with the hope of never crashing again that I completely forgot that was my original plan. Let's just go ahead and grab some of this. I really need a hopper. That would make this so much better. And we'll get one eventually, someday, when I can kill a billion zombies. Not like I got many other uses for uh, what's some called it, uh, iron, like necessary uses. Come on, just give me it. Quit falling in the lava, you stupid... Jeez. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, that was over there. I got that. I think this is probably enough to finish it. And drop. I don't care about taking damage because I'm going to start starving sooner or later. So who cares? But if that works, then we can set up a daytime mob spawner. Which will be nice. And if past experiments have been any sort of accurate, then the mobs could spawn really fast. Because this will be the only place they can spawn during the day. Aw, oh, man. Well, I mean, let's see. Where does it say the light value? I don't know. I keep missing it. It's 10, right? Yeah, 10. I think think that's dark enough. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh well. We could wait and see. Oh, look! Something spawned! Okay, let's go kill it. Zo oh, a sword zombie. Hello, sword zombie. Nice day. Dang it. Level 10! We can get in our levels back, at least. So now I can just AFK right at this spot, and that will spawn some mobs. But if I just put a little more effort into gathering cobble, it can spawn a whole lot more mobs. Because of the way it works randomly, the more area, the more chances. Oh, we got an apple. Not as cool as in Ultra Hardcore, but still pretty cool. And I already had one. I didn't even realize. Oh, well. Mine. Let's see, how much do you think I need? Something like, I don't know, 10? Probably 10. I think 10's a good number. Getting 12 wouldn't hurt, though. I can use the extra down below. Come on. I'm feeling good about this. I think things are going to start progressing fast once we can get passive mobs. That's a big one. Okay, we need two more. Oh, there goes one. There we go. Okay. That's really the big thing slowing us down, I think, is just no passive mobs to breed or something. We get a farm going. Obviously, I need to build a farm area. Nothing in here? Okay, good. I could build a trap in this. I totally should. Oh, that was a good guess. Nice. Oh, dang it. Well, I'd keep him from seeing me. Not really the goal, though. Of course, this door is an issue. During the daytime, they're only going to spawn in the back. Eventually, we will... Ugh, can't shift-click doors, apparently. I'm crawling so I don't fall. But eventually, we'll have like a tunnel leading out here. And that way the light inside will always be dark enough for mobs to spawn. But for now, that's good enough, really. I mean, we can probably stand here for a second. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. And let's check if there's anything in there. Probably not. Probably not that lucky. No. Well, night's coming soon, and things will spawn then, for sure. No doubts there. Until then, let's make some torches and I think I want to torch up a little bit more of this walkway because they're still getting in visual range of me those zombies are I think right there that'll still let them spawn right there but should reduce the amount of zombies that notice me so that I can have a bit of peace during the night 
until I get a bed. Okay. Okay, I'm starving. Very, very hungry. And I need to do something about it. I need cobble. I need lots of cobble. Let's get cobble. I need to make the farm area now. I'd planned for it to be 24 blocks away somewhere. So that passive mobs can spawn in it. I really... What I should do is eventually phase out all of the dirt around here. Either that or I build my base. Hmm. I think that might be a good idea, actually. I think I like this idea that I just had, which I'm not telling you. I think I might have had this idea before, honestly, so I might have mentioned it in the previous episode. Or it might have been in part that got cut out, so who knows. But I'm doing it. Okay, okay. And okay. That's enough. 26, sure. Oh, look at all those mobs. So what we are going to do here is... Build out from here. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay. Keep on going. I'm gonna get shot by a skeleton, aren't I? No, there's no skeletons yet. Okay. I'm gonna get shot by a skeleton. It's gonna spawn and kill me. Then again, it would shoot me the right direction, so maybe not. Hello, spider. Hello. Oh gosh. Yeah, there's a skeleton. You do not see anything. That spider is not really. Oh, this is one way to lure spiders back to the base. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Well, that's going to give us some apples for sure. Okay, let's not take any damage right now. Because the spider is probably not going to hurt me, surprisingly enough. Skeletons, though. I'm not even going to try. I'm glad they don't have good eyesight. What with their lack of eyes and all. Okay, so this situation is serious. Man. Gotta get rid of all this wood here. These trees are getting out of control. And that's that. Let's go ahead and actually store a bit more wood. That way if I die, I still have a ridiculous amount. Now let's get this new one I made. Let's actually grab some of these here too. And this one, and this one, and this one. I haven't had to chop many of these giant trees in YouTube yet. <laughs> they can be a pain, that's for sure. Especially if you want to actually get everything. And I hear lava, but that's just my lava. As far as I know, there's no issues with it. Okay... Um, that, and that, and that. Being able to see through is so useful. It's the nice thing about Skyblock is you get great FPS. Okay. There we go. It's looking like maybe I have solved my crashing problem, which is great. That makes me in a bit less of a rush to get a new computer. I swear I just saw an apple. Okay, that was scary. Why have I not covered that? I guess it does make a good light source. I'll leave it. It'd be cool if a squid spawned. And I guess we do have to get a squid eventually, unless you get a black sheep to spawn. So yeah. Might be a thing we do is make a giant pool just to increase the chances. There's the moon up ahead. It's the middle of the night. Oh, gosh. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to press that one. Go, go, go. And go, go, go. And... There we go. Is that... No, that's not all of it. There's one right there. Come on. There. Is that all of it? No, because there's one there. Is that all of it? Um, maybe. If there's more, I can't see it right now. But that might have been all. Whatever the case, 
this episode is over. So I'm going to finish cleaning up this tree, gather a lot of cobble, and then we'll start the next episode. Until then, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.